Defenseman Eddie Whitko is a senior co-captain for the Wisconsin Badgers. Eddie, I know last year was disappointing for everybody who was part of that year. So what's the mindset? What's the rallying cry heading into 2015-16? You know, I think obviously last year with the disappoint, disappointing season we had, the, the feeling is here is, you know, we just kind of have a new slate, fresh start, uh, a lot of new faces, young talent, a lot of young energy and uh, moving into this year and we're all excited. Eddie, you're one of only three seniors on the roster. What's that responsibility like? You're also a co-captain because you guys are going to have a lot of additional leadership asked of you this year with so many freshmen and sophomores on the roster. Yeah, I think, I think the exact number is 21 underclassmen, which, which obviously puts a little, bit, uh, a little bit of pressure on the older guys, but I think a lot of those young guys are very mature, ready to step in, fill roles. So I don't think it's been too tough on the older guys yet. But uh, definitely when we hit some bumps in the road, it's going to be up to us to kind of lead this group um, out of those, you know, down times and, and back to what Wisconsin hockey has to be. How strange is it going to be when the puck drops in that first game and you look behind you and it's not Joel Rumpel in between the pipes? <laughs> it's definitely going to be different. I mean, we've been blessed with go great goaltending my, my entire career here, and I, I think the guys that we have on our roster now are ready to fill in for guys like Joel Rumpel. I mean, obviously, big shoes to fill, but it, it's going to be different. But I think those guys are ready to take on that challenge. From a defensive perspective, you guys got a lot better as the year went on last year. The offense didn't start to click until late, but then we saw guys like Grant Bessie with some terrific individual plays and the rest of that first and second line. Where do you think the offense is headed this coming year? I think it's headed in a great direction. I think we'll pick up where we left off uh, last year as, as we kind of – Went along through the, through the year, like you said, we got a lot better offensively, scoring more goals, things like that. And, and the young talent we have on our team, guys ready to step up, the new incoming freshmen, um, and like you said, guys like Grant Bessie who know how to put the puck in the net. Um, I, don't, I don't think that will be uh, a huge challenge for us this year. I think that'll be one of our strong suits is putting the puck in the net with the talent that we have in our team up front. Eddie, I know the coaches inside the Big Ten would love to have at least two more teams most would say the minimum is eight, and then they'd be willing to go from there. Would the players like there to be expanded conference schedule? I think that'd be awesome. I mean, obviously, it's, it's fun. You get those inner rivalries with, with playing each team in the Big Ten four times this year. But back, I remember back in my freshman year playing in the WCHA, going different places, seeing different teams, new faces. Um, it was fun. And, and having more teams in the conference would be a great thing. Obviously, with me being a senior, I won't see that, unfortunately. But I think it would be good for the conference. What would you tell your freshman self about doing well in classes and balancing hockey with academics? I would, uh, I would tell myself to get off to a great start um, in school because, you know, classes only get harder as you move through, as you, once you pick your major and as you move through the major. Um, so, you know, get ahead while you can. Get, get a great GPA your freshman year. And it, once you hit some of those tougher uh, classes, if you get a little worse grade than what you got freshman year, you can handle it. And as far as... Uh, on the ice goes, I'd say just control what you can. There's a lot of things when I came in freshman year that I, that I had to learn while I was here, you know, um, just kind of hitting some tough, tough games or whatever it was, and, and I let it stick with me too, for too long. But um, now I've learned to move on from those games quicker and just really control what I can. Where would you tell yourself is the best hangout spot on campus? I, I would tell myself as far as the best – spot to hang out on campus that you can't really go wrong with the lakes we have surrounding us here in Madison you can't go wrong with um, either terraces Men Men Menona Terrace and Mendota Terrace um, both beautiful spots to hang out uh, live music uh, right on the lake especially on a beautiful day ton of people out tanning um, whatever it is there's there's so many things that this city has to offer that uh, it it's tough to choose one but I'd say that would be a great one right there all right, last question. What would you tell your freshman self about your freshman year roommate who you're about to meet? Oh, okay. Um, I would tell myself to loosen up a little bit. Uh, my freshman roommate was Kevin Schulz, and uh, Kevin and I are on two different spectrums as far as how tidy we are. He, he likes to, uh, when he has dirty clothes, he doesn't find the, the dirty bin basket very often, and, and they ended up on our floor. And, <laughs> And uh, nothing against him at all, but I just prepare myself for that a little bit. All right, Eddie, good stuff, man. I appreciate you joking around with us a little bit, and I'm sure we'll see you along the way during the year. Good luck this year, man. All right, Eddie, appreciate it.